The bloody corpse of a young killer whale that washed ashore in Washington in February may have a Canadian connection. The orca was discovered dead and battered just days after HMCS Ottawa conducted training on the waters off Victoria. Some believe the two events may be linked, but U.S. investigators are not pointing the finger north, at least not yet. Covered with blood, the corpse of a rare orca lies on the shores of Long Beach, Washington. Since it was discovered in February, biologists have been trying to find out how it died. There are no answers, but there are ideas. Two events occurred. An animal died. There were some naval exercises. The exercises involved HMCS Ottawa. In early February, the ship took part in a series of training exercises off the coast of Victoria, which included the use of sonar, often used to help detect submarines. But it will also bounce off marine mammals and, and come back to the ship and we'll, we'll be able to detect them as well. U.S. investigators have not made a connection between the naval exercises and the dead whale, but are not ruling out Canada's involvement. The, the region off Victoria and Juan de Fuca Strait is, is zoned, so to speak, for, for multiple types of activities. And I think the key issue here is um, what level of human activity are we going to allow in killer whale critical habitat? Federal policies are in place to ensure the Royal Canadian Navy conducts visual surveillance prior to using sonar. In an email to CTV News, the Navy says those tests were done in early February and there were no reports of marine mammals in the area. It just breaks my heart to see that. I, I can't stand it. I... Yeah. You have to have war games. I mean, you need a military. It's sad to see an animal hurt, but at the same time, I can't say whether or not it's wrong or more and more we see animals coming up dead we don't know why what is that about it's unknown where or when the whale died but researchers say it likely happened two to four days before its corpse was discovered suggesting the whale could have drifted the Royal Canadian Navy has been in touch with the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration through our counterparts with the US Navy and have provided data in support of their current investigation as researchers wait for the necropsy results, environmental groups argue the incident underscores the need for stronger protection of whales. In what level of, of disturbance are, is acceptable? And of course, the causing a death of a killer whale is an unacceptable level. But until there is a naval connection, it's unlikely the pictures will lead to change. Test results should be released in the coming weeks.